Hi guys, Bambi for Spurred On. Outside the lane at finish Tottenham 2, Woolwich 2. I don't know if my heart can take much more of that. Um, really, really mixed emotions. Everyone's kind of been saying mixed emotions. It does feel like that. Uh, first half, we came out of the blocks. The atmosphere in the, in the stadium was unbelievable. Absolutely bouncing, almost incendiary in how the hatred was just so visceral. It was incredible. But we came out of the blocks well, put them under pressure, make an Arsenal play it long, not in getting their natural game. They did look lacking confidence. And then they scored kind of out of nothing, a little scrappy uh, melee in midfield, and it broke to Welbeck, who I think then put the full back in. Good finish from Aaron Ramsey, you got to say that. And that, when, when they went 1-0 up, suddenly the confidence was flowing through them, and that was the Arsenal that you kind of expect to see. For the kind of 10 minutes between going 1-0 up and half-time, they looked good, and we looked a little bit devoid of ideas. Second half, came out of the traps really well. Uh, uh, got the man, they got the man sent off, and suddenly we just scored two from nowhere. Uh, the first goal, great, but Harry Kane's second goal was unlike any moment I've ever had, maybe in life, but certainly at Spurs. Unbelievable finish. For any of you talking about Harry Kane as not the real deal, that shows it. In the biggest game of the season, he pulls out a finish like that, wearing a mask, with a broken nose. People saying, can he score with the mask? He hasn't scored for a few games in open play, all that kind of stuff. What a player he is. Absolutely unbelievable. But then turned into a different game after that. People have been talking about it in the fan camps. Seemed like our game management of the situation with them down to 10 men didn't really work out so well. They brought on Giroud. They played a bit more attacking. But I think my personal opinion is in games like that, when you've got them down to 10 men, you've just got to keep the football. Now, obviously, in a game like that, it's not it's easy to say that, but it's not always easy to do it. But play your natural game, spread, play it as wide as you can, spread the ball, make them chase, make them get tired, and then you will find gaps, and maybe we could have got the third, but we just seemed to panic a little bit. And of course, the occasion was huge. Possibility to go top of the league, North London derby, bragging rights, everything. And the one player you don't want the ball to fall to after a lucky little bit of play on the outside of the box. I think Ericsson was trying to clear it to stop a shot from coming outside the box. And it just went straight to Sanchez. One person you don't want it to fall to. I haven't seen the replay. People saying maybe Hugo could have done better. But I wouldn't say a bad word about Hugo. He saved so many points for us this season. So I'm not going to say a bad word about that. In the end, Eddie. two all feels a bit disappointing. Eddie. But also... Eddie. Thank God we didn't lose that. You know, thank God we didn't lose that from that position down to, with them down to 10 men. We'd never have heard the end of it. So we go two points behind Leicester. Leicester playing Watford in a 5.30 game. I'm hopeful if Watford don't try and play too attacking, play defensive nice and deep, don't let, let Leicester hit them on the counter-attack, they can get a result there. Next two games, Aston Villa away, Bournemouth at home, eminently winnable games in my view. If we get six points out of those before we then go to Liverpool away, then I think people will be saying it's back on track. To me, it's still vitally important, top four, top four, top four. That's where our head should be. Um, we don't want to let your Man Uniteds and your West Ham start catching up on us for the top four. I know we're ahead of Arsenal, we're ahead of City, so we're not the ones most in danger of that. But, you know, after these two games where we wanted two wins in the London derbies, we only got one point. We've just got to get back on track in that next game. This week, Dortmund away will be going. It's going to be an amazing time. Pressure's off a little bit. Obviously, we want to get through in the Europa League, but what a stadium to go to, what a place. Really looking forward to it. Let's get back behind the boys. The atmosphere there was unbelievable. So much belief and passion in, this, in these supporters at the moment. And the boys did play really well. They played their hearts out. Just to me, lacking a little bit of experience when necessary, but that will come with time and leadership. So let's get behind the boys again. Let me know what you thought of my match review in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at SpurredOnTV. Come on, you Spurs.